everybody, my name is Sarah Lean and I'm a Senior Cloud Advocate at Microsoft. In this short video, I want to show you a new feature within Azure Migrate. Now, Azure Migrate is a tool that can help you lift your workloads from on-prem or another cloud provider and put them into Azure. And when we're moving our workloads, one of the things that we often want to think about is highly availability and also resilience with for that workload. And we probably have that on-prem right now. And what we want to ensure is when we move it into Azure, we still have that same high availability. Within Azure Migrate, the new feature that we now have is the ability to actually lift your virtual machines and put them into Azure and build in that availability set or availability zone redundancy when you're actually migrating and it's not an afterthought or something that you have to do once the workload is within Azure. So let's dive into the video and have a look at the feature and how you can use it. So here we are in the Azure portal and we're in the Azure Migrate Blade. Now we've done a discovery with the Azure Migrate server assessment tool and we've discovered a bunch of servers. So the first question that we're asked is about where our virtual machines currently live and we tell the system that it's VMware virtual machines that we want to replicate from on-prem up into the cloud. Now the second setting or the second question is about whether we want to import uh, migration settings from the assessment that we've done or we want to um, move the virtual machines as they are with the current setup. Now I'm happy with the current setup of these VMs so we're not going to go with any of the information from the assessment report. The next stage is to pick the virtual machines that we want to replicate. So we pick the right ones that we want to replicate up into Azure at this stage. The next part of this process is around our target settings and where we want our virtual machines to be replicated when they're moved into Azure. Now we pick our subscription, we pick up our resource group, our virtual network and our subnet which are all pre-created when we've created our Azure landing zone. The next question, and this is a new question within Azure Migrate, is about the availability options that we want to deploy these virtual machines with. Now, we have the ability to deploy it in two different types of availability. So we can either deploy it in an availability zone or an availability set. So an availability set is a grouping of two or more virtual machines in the same data center within an Azure region. Azure makes sure that the VMs you place with inside that availability set run across multiple physical servers, compute racks, storage units, network switches, and help to minimize the impact of any outages on your workload. With an availability set, you get a virtual machine service level agreement or an SLA of 99.9%. .9 5%. In terms of what an availability zone is, it's really a grouping of our data centers. So within an Azure region, we have data centers and we group those data centers together. Now, each zone is made up of one or more of our data centers equipped with independent power, cooling and networking, which helps again to protect against any single points of failure. Now, with an availability zone, you get a virtual machine service level agreement or SLA of 99.99%. So depending on what your workload is and what the requirements are, you can now deploy them when you migrate them into either an availability set or an availability zone. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this video was useful. Please do let me know any feedback about the product, good or bad. And remember to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.